Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing a video today because uh, band practice got canceled for some reason. I'm a little concerned, but I, my anxiety goes up every time there's something happens. Um, uh, there's a couple other things happening that are uh, increasing that, of course, right now. But uh, we'll talk about that on this video, of course. We know the political situation too, but that's not even related to what I'm talking about. Personal stuff is... Uh, kind of uh some stuff that's kind of depressing that's happened but anyways I'm laughing I'm trying to laugh it off anyways so recently there's been this announcement from Trump about this free education option that he is proposing and I'm just like my mouth was to the floor when I heard about this because I'm like so just as a background, he originally was for nationalized health care to some extent. Um, I think even in 2015, he was asked about it and he was for it. And then he flipped around like he does, uh, you know, started just attacking Obamacare and, you know, trying to cut Obamacare. Because, you know, at first he was way like in the 2015, he was way more of a maverick and then, you know, some of the uh, financiers that funded his campaign probably pushed him in a different uh, direction with that. I'm not saying that he doesn't piss off the establishment or anything like that, but this is, so I was joking for a while and I think I said it in several videos and with friends and stuff. I'm like, I would be surprised if Trump uh, proposed a, like if he did national, if he did a uh, socialized medicine, he, he would call it like Patriot Care or something. We get this big, beautiful health care that's not going to be given to illegal immigrants and blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I, I thought that would be, I made fun of it. But lo and behold, this meme of this like, dare I say, like national socialist, <laughs> nationalist socialist thing becomes reality, but not in the healthcare realm, in education. So he comes out and says, we got this American Academy. <laughs> and it's going to fight all the woke and communist indoctrination. And we're going to have this free education online for every, every person in America. <laughs> and I guess, I don't know if it's accredited or not, but it was just so funny to hear this guy that, you know, I knew this would happen. I knew that he would come out with something that's just like so far left that it's like, it breaks, it's ridiculous. It just breaks like the Overton window in this new way. But like, also what, but what really makes me, and it, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Trump University was a scam, by the way, you know, and that in, this could be too, in some weird way, you know, if it got, got implemented. I don't know. It's hard to say what is, uh, you know, competent and incompetent with the guy because some, some of the stuff just falls flat or scam, grift. And then some other stuff sort of works, like the uh, uh, First Step Act and some other stuff, you know, the Abr or Abraham Accords and stuff. Well, I, actually, they didn't work right now, but you know what I mean. So... This whole thing, the, the thing that angers me about this is that I see people on the right, like uh, Six Hexenhammer and others, like, try to, like, do some mental gymnastics. Of course, we're going to have that happen. So, for example, he's like, well, I'm normally a classical liberal and I don't support this, but this has some good elements to it. It's like, okay, you're a fucking hypocrite. Just come out and say that you're just doing this because you support Trump and it's cloaked in this anti-woke thing. So it's really funny. I find it really fascinating that the man would purport to, to, to or propose something like this. It's just so beyond the pale, but I predicted it because I knew, I knew that he has this side to him he does have a side to him that is like into this like idea and do dissidents. We're talking about it. It's like, like 
Well, it's kind of nationalist. It's kind of socialist. <laughs> like they kind of give, and I'm not going to be one of those people that makes a right wing and says like Nazis are, are socialists. Like that's complete. Not, I mean, okay. Socialist and Marxist are two different things. They're very anti-Bolshevik and anti-communist. Um, and that was part of the whole thing with their ideology. That's because the J word supposedly and that were interchangeable. So I'm not going to go into that right wing myth, just like the myth that Republicans uh, didn't, you know, there there was no Southern switch and all this stuff. It's, it's just nonsense. It's just like, uh, it's just as bad as saying that gender is a social construct, you know. And so, or sex is a social construct and stuff like that. The right wing has their own mythology and pseudo scientific or pseudo historical ideas, as the left does as well. So that's that's kind of I I'm gonna go do more videos about that in the future. I already planned on doing that, but yeah, it's pretty pretty hilarious to say to come out and say I'm gonna do this like national like free education, Bernie Sanders kind of thing, like, but cloaked in this, like, right-wing nationalist, like, anti-woke thing to just, like, make it more palatable to your, to your, to the mass, to not to the masses, but to your fan base, and I just found it just so hilarious, and I knew it would happen, like I said, I, I predicted it with healthcare, maybe this could happen, I would imagine this could happen, and it could still happen, but, like, this idea about and you know I think the education system is completely fucked in America. I went I tried to go back to school in early 2019 and it was so ludicrous. Um it just was so dysfunctional like it's a local technical college you could probably probably guess what it is. And I was they had this antiquated computer system and I couldn't get registered for classes and then I had to download this other thing and then that didn't work and then I had to call I can't even remember all the all the hoops that I had to go through. And then come to find out it's just like, oh my god, it's just it's a nightmare. So I think I think college is really messed up. So any kind of uh I like actually Six Hex and Amber said this as well. He's a hypocrite for supporting this, by the way. But um complete hypocrite. But he said that anything that competes with the system that we have now, you know, these systems, these colleges, I I he supports it. I I support that concept because I think the, the education system is completely corrupt. Um, so having an alternative for people to like study, like it's like Udemy or something, like, you know, think about Udemy or Coursera or some of those things, which I have admittedly have 300 classes between both. <laughs> some of them I've finished and some of them, a lot of them I'm, I've not literally 300 classes. Cause I'm, I'm obsessed with educating myself and learning stuff. That's like one of my things. Um, like, if I could quit my job and just take classes all day, I would. I would. Like, it dip, depends on the class, of course, but, you know, for the most part. So, it's just, like, in that area, like, having but that accredited and free or relatively inexpensive or whatever, uh, that would be amazing. So, I think this idea is actually kind of amazing, in a way. Um, now, of course, being as from Trump and from that side of the aisle, whatever, you know, I'm very skeptical, you know, I'd have to see what they would implement. And, you know, if it was like Prager University, like teaching history courses, I'd want it just shut down the whole thing because it's complete nonsense. But if it was like actual, just regular, like, I don't know, see, that's the problem is, uh, is like, the, where, what do you define as anti-woke, you know, or woke? Well, woke is easy to define in a certain way, but anti-woke is it just neutral? How about neutral? How about taking some of those ideas out? Maybe they would, you know, I wouldn't mind if American Academy is what he's calling it. I wouldn't mind, honestly, if he would, like, just take out some of those kinds of courses, like gender studies, or there would be no gender studies, there would be no, like, uh, CRT kind of thing. Like, somehow, the, those uh, degrees, like gender studies, for example. That's a good example. Oh, there won't be a gender studies degree in this American Academy. You have to go to a regular college for that. That's fine. But if you actually, like, censor stuff, then I'm not in the support of it. But anyways, that's just my thought on it. I thought it was really fucking amazing. And, like, 
to hear this and to to watch the the clip of it. I it's surreal when you have uh you know uh what's his name Josh uh Hawley uh go against Citizens United. Um it's amazing at this point when one of the only people, well of course with the Israel-Palestine things, only Thomas Massey, but that, that's kind of like the tradition that Ron Paul, uh, you know, pioneered, you know, a voting no for that funding or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty phenomenal that we're having this weird almost switch in certain ways of certain things in the parties. Now, the, I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but the recent Israel-Palestine has woken up the anti-war left that were asleep since 2008, seven, eight, or it's 2008. For what, whatever reason, this happened to like put the light bulb, you know, put the light bulb back on, which saddens me, but it is what it is. I'll take it. So that's about all.